Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy, Dr. D's. We are back with another video. So today we are on the Void Rift. We are going to defeat the Torador boss. Well, hopefully anyway, I don't know. I haven't gotten there yet and I've never ever defeated him yet. So hopefully I can defeat the Torador boss, but right now I'm on this boss. So I'm planning on doing them both in the same video. I'm on the boss for phase 2-3 and let me just say he was kicking my butt but before we get started on this um, I, I will go over this here in a second but before we get started I just wanted to say if you guys noticed how I have not been posting any videos uh, it's because I came down with COVID so you know it's been actually kicking my butt. It's been giving me the one, two barbecue. And you know, hey, I, I tried to make this video yesterday, the day before, I just couldn't do it. I was sitting there like, oh, no, 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 no. you know, I, I couldn't do it. So I was like, oh, you know what? Hopefully today I'm good enough. Uh, I do feel a lot better today. Uh, I still feel the effects. I'm not 100%, but uh, I, I feel a lot better. Good enough to make this video. So let's start with this boss right here. All right, let's get right into it. So keep in mind, all attributes of the Star Piercers faction members increase by 30%. Since this week, it is the Star Piercers that get the increase for Phase 2. That's crucial, and that's also very nice, mainly because it helps out my boy Silas. My boy absolutely starts clapping the booty cheeks of the boss. Let's go. Uh, so it's always nice when the Star Piercers faction is getting the buff. Um, I do believe this changes uh, weekly. I'm not 100% I'm not on that though, but if it doesn't change, then excuse me. But just keep in mind, if it does change, then that might kind of, that might change the lineup that you use. Not, not this exact lineup that I'm using. It might, it would probably change my lineup as well, but it's actually pretty good because the Star Piercers are getting the increase. I'll go over all their builds after. I still got to defeat Torador uh, before the night ends. So, you know, I got a busy day ahead of me. But right now, since we're on this boss, um, let me let me just go ahead and jump right into the strategy. All right, guys, a pretty straightforward strategy. What we're going to do is we're going to lay down Brock here, the man, the myth, the legend. We're going to lay him down right over here. Basically, once he dies, he gets a second crack at life because he'll turn into a little ice cube. My vortex can heal him up and then he gets a second go at it. So we lay down Brock here. Brock here is actually pretty important. Then we're gonna lay down Micah. I wanted to do a guide for Micah. I did not get around to it mainly because of COVID, but I will definitely do it later this week. If as long as I'm feeling better, uh, I do feel better today, but uh, still feeling the effects of the COVID right now. Uh, so just bear with me guys. We're gonna lay down Micah right there. Let's change it to two time, okay? Um, attention to detail is very important for this. All right, now we're going to lay down Vortex. Vortex right here. And then now we play the waiting game. All right, we're going to go ahead and lay down Eadril. Lay her down right here. Boom, big boy starts going. Keep in mind, you want a magic damage nuker right here where Mike is at. Mainly because these big guys, they are heavy armored. You want someone that's a magic damage booty clapper to go ahead and take care of him all right right when he's in range we're going to go ahead and pop lock and drop it all right and then right when he's about to swing um yeah he's about to swing we're going to go ahead and pop brock here's ultimate um oh shoot i didn't lay these guys down gosh dang it wasn't paying attention come on these um so normally we would uh Normally we would have popped those earlier or dropped these guys earlier, but it's okay. It's all the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, look, we're, we're all there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop Dolores' ultimate, pop his ultimate, pop Idril's ultimate. Go ahead and let him go ham on the uh, on the boss right there. Um, so we want this guy to get... That's another reason why Idril's important because Idril's going to keep hitting him. We want him to get over here as fast as possible as fast as possible mainly because I'll, I'll show you guys after um so this guy does uh the the boss he does a a move where the move basically um it will throw down i think it's called eternal something but it throws down a block whenever there's uh our guy over here so hang on hang on let me let me make sure i can do this without dying okay now we're going to withdraw brock here get brock here out of there um then we're good to go basically now we got it defeated because when he all right this crimson plague crimson plague comes down anyone that's on the ground floor is going to get the effects of this and you can't lay anyone else down so it puts a damper on things right um so very important to uh 
basically destroy the big guy before uh before he does that crimson plague so you can withdraw your your uh brock here over there but then yeah silas will do the rest he'll go ahead and take care of it let's go um so again i'm, I'm trying to do the best explanation i can uh but you know i'm, I'm a little uh i'm a little out of it guys <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and withdraw uh silas and then um let's go ahead and change to two times so i do like how they give us time they give us time to go ahead and get our guys back down on the field you know they're like hey we understand that you know the boss might have messed you guys up so giving us a little bit of time um okay so he's coming out big boy right there okay that was the main thing get rid of that guy right there boom oh this mother okay i completely forgot that this guy you know what i'm gonna use my silas go ahead and get rid of him okay cool 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 basically pretty straightforward the main thing is killing the boss uh you know that that was the main thing so you want to kill him and make sure you don't have your defender over here when he does the crimson plague because when he does the crimson plague he is going to mess you up uh you won't be able to lay anyone down over here and it's basically going to ruin basically ruin the whole keep so uh you, you definitely want to oh let me go ahead and pop silas's ultimate kill that as soon as possible Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I don't even have to try after the boss is dead, uh, you know. Nothing to it, nothing to it, guys. That is how we defeat this, uh, this boss, and, and, uh, let's go ahead and let me get to Torador, then I'll do, I'll do the Torador display, and then I'll show you guys how I have everyone built out. It's probably going to be nighttime by the time I beat Torador, but, uh, Hopefully I can beat him fast. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys. And now we are on the man, the myth, the legend. We have Torador, ladies and gentlemen. So originally I defeated him with Silas, um, but I was like, you know what? That's a little too easy. And a lot of you guys don't have Silas. So I was like, let me switch out the strategy right quick. Let me see if I come up with something even better. So I'm actually using our girl, Micah, who we are, who I will be doing a guide for. But at the same time, I'll be using Micah to put her on display since everybody gets a free crack at her. Um, but <clears throat> just know that when Torador, you have to basically kill him twice. You take him down to 0% one time, uh, then he gains full health, he walks over, uh, then he basically goes in this like trance and sends out these mobs, you gotta kill the mobs, uh, then he starts coming in full force, and uh, then you have to kill him a second time. But there's not really much to it. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. Um, just follow this simple strategy. These are the guys I used. I got Wrath, I got Lust, I got uh, Valeria. Honestly, the only one that is irreplaceable in this is Valeria. Uh, she's definitely the hard carry in this. Uh, I, I could even replace Micah. I just threw her in there. I made her basically take uh, Silas's position. Um, and originally, I was actually using uh, Olog instead of Abomination, but I was like, hey, you know what? I'll throw Abomination in there, make it look a little more interesting. But uh, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to have Abomination. I just threw him in there. Um, then, uh, okay, let, let, I'll show you guys how I did this. So let's go ahead and start it. All right, guys, not much to it. Let's go ahead and start with my guy Salazar. Oh, excuse me. We're going to lay him down right here. We're going to change it to two time. Maybe I should start with Abomination first, uh, but then we pl place Abomination right by the portal. Um, Abomination has a move where when he takes a certain amount of damage or whatever the case might be, he doesn't take any damage for a short period of time. Gives him a little bit more survivability. So it's good to have Abomination right there or maybe Olog or a tank or somebody a little tanky right that could take some hits um okay then what we're going to do is we're going to lay down vortex so this bottom side's covered covered all right we're good to go
And then, um, okay, oh shoot, I forgot to lay this down. So I lay down Lust, I lay down Air, uh, Wrath. Keep in mind, I have Lust in the middle spot. We don't want her at the top spot where Wrath's at. We don't want her at the bottom spot. We want her in the middle spot, all right? So we put her in the middle spot. Um, honestly, you could use uh, someone other than Wrath. I mean, I, I could have used, uh, I, I don't know, um, a, a tank, a defender. A defender would be perfect right there. Uh, mainly because I have Lust right behind him. Lust is a booty clapper uh, and, and we'd be good to go. But um, here, let me, okay, here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop her ultimate, get a little bit going in. Um, oh shoot, I was supposed to pop Lust ultimate. Okay, so I popped it in time. Um, so now you lay down Valeria and then you lay down uh, Arrogance right behind. Um, boom. Come on, Lust. Come, come, come. Ah, oh, you sucker. It's okay. We'll, we'll get Lust back uh, by the time it comes back. Um, normally, that's a little cleaner, and we would have killed him. Uh, but it's okay. Here. Hang so we're going to go ahead and pop Valeria's ultimate. Um, you wanted to pop it right there because she does have unyielding. And then she'll go ahead and take care of this guy. She'll kill him. Boom. He's dead. Uh, and then he's going to go over here. Then this is when the going gets tough, all right? Um, so I, I honestly should have popped Micah's ultimate. I completely forgot. You could pop it again when it comes across, but it's okay. We're, we're good. We're good. We're golden. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pop this because you got to survive these guys coming down. All these guys coming down, it's, it's going to hurt. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got to survive this. So let me go ahead. Um and okay i'm gonna pop that i'm gonna go ahead and lay wrath down actually let's let's lay wrath down give him a little give him a little booty clapping in there um then i'm gonna lay down uh lust i'm going to do arrogance i'll do arrogance right here and then i'll do valeria um, so the reason why I'm doing Valeria on the back is because she has the unyielding. So these two guys are going to do a little bit of damage. He's basically going to go down the line. He's going to kill Arrogance first, then he's going to kill Lust. Then when he gets to my Valeria, I got to pop the ultimate as soon as I can. So then she could go ahead and kill him along with uh, Micah. Keep in mind, Micah would have done more damage if I popped that ultimate of hers, but I did not. Okay. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Let me change this to one time. I keep messing up. Okay. Let me pop that. Let me pop that. Then I'm going to hold this ultimate um for my valeria okay see so he's coming now we're going to pop it we're going to pop it come on why didn't she pop it pop it pop it fuck okay there we popped it and basically he can't kill me right now he can go ahead and keep trying he could try all he wants but he ain't killing me all right but then valeria is basically going to finish the job she's going to absolutely destroy this guy watch bop 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 Oh, let's go. And that's how you destroy my guy Torador. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the stats. Um, Micah didn't do much. You know, she was just on that platform for a short period of time. I only popped her ultimate two times and she did 5 million damage. That is actually very impressive. She did more damage than Abomination. This chick is a beast. You guys need to wait to see this guy that will come out with the honor because she is an absolute monster. She's a stud, guys. A stud, all right? But um, of course, the hard carry is Valeria. I mean, Valeria is just such a beast. She's a beast in almost every phase. Uh, honestly, the, the star would have been Silas if I put him in there. Uh, but I, I wanted to kind of switch it up because, you know, I don't think everyone wants to always see, oh, hey, uh, let's see another Dr. D strategy. Oh, yeah, Silas is going to just go ahead and carry him through a strategy again. So I was like, you know what, let me switch it up. Like, I can't keep using Silas. He's the only cheat code I have, right? Uh, but I can't keep using him. So I was like, you know what, I switched up for you guys. I almost forgot to show you guys the builds, okay? So we got Silas right here. He's honestly in one of my best sets. We got him in the Infernal Roar. Uh, this is the best set for him, hands down, the best set. Um, he's an absolute stud muffin, all right? Uh, so the, this is the set I have, you know, bam, go ahead, read him and weep. Bam, bam, and bam. We got crit damage on the main, crit damage on the main, attack bonus on the main. And then we have the Ancient Warlord set. I have this one, and I also have this one. 
Um, I wish the procs were a little bit better when it's ancient gear you expect a little more but uh, it is what it is they don't really bless your boy D's like that uh, but um, this is the stats and then I also have the spirit siphon on my guy let's go uh, and then on arrogance um, I actually swapped this around so I normally I normally have soulbound arcana on him but I had this one on Micah she wasn't doing as much damage so I swapped his gear with Micah's um, but this is the gear that I had on him for that run. Uh, so I did have the uh, fracture set. Um, just read him and we bam, bam, bam. I mean, beautiful pieces, beautiful pieces. And then I also have the warlord set on him as well. We got that one and we also have that one. Um, these were the stats on him. I mean, really good stats though. Look at that. Attack speed plus 326, crit rate plus 94, crit damage plus 224. Um, his attack's a little low at plus seven nine zero eight, but I mean, pretty good stats for for the for the set. So, um, and he did a decent amount of damage, right? Uh, but he does more in the Soulbound Arcana. And then we got the MVP right here. I actually have her in the Glacier set. I've had this set on her since like many many months ago, and I haven't even changed it. Um, I might have changed her two piece set, uh, but I have not changed this set. Uh, I've had this same set ever since like a long time ago and it's i don't know she's been a booty clapper for me um i of course of course i would like to get better sets but uh if i'm sticking with the glacier i barely do gear raid 2 so you know and when i do get, do gear raid 2 of course they don't give me anything worth a damn so uh it's it's one of those things where uh glacier sets been working out perfectly perfectly um so uh that's basically how i have her built boom 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 uh, and then boom and boom and then when we look at her stats uh her attack is a little low um so i need to increase her attack i need to increase her attack speed and i also need to get her crit rate to 100 percent but uh you know her crit damage i could do a little bit more on that too but she's still a booty clapper you know we got we got some hp up in there mainly because of this glacier set right here so uh you know gives her a little bit of survivability also gives her a little bit more attack right um but okay let's see uh the artifact i have i have the wailing skull but i mean there isn't no set artifact for her for this run anyway uh you, you could use almost anything but this definitely does help her get a little bit more damage in so that's the one that i have on her right now currently um who else did i use for this we got lust lust all right real basic set we got the night terror night terror actually works beautifully on her um, and I have decent procs on these guys. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, not bad, right? Not bad. Um, and then we also have the, uh, the Annihilating Might, mainly because she was lacking on her crit damage a little bit, so I wanted to bring that up a little bit. Um, but bam and bam. I mean, look at that one. That's a beautiful piece right there. Uh, and then her attack is a little low. It is. Her attack's a little low, but she makes up for it in her attack speed. 371 and then her crit rate is 95 percent with a good amount of crit damage at 199 um and then i have her exclusive artifact um yeah yeah the exclusive artifact definitely does wonders for my girl right there uh let's see who else i mean i had salazar but uh so i <laughs> i actually just have this for uh for um guild boss um and guild boss you you want him to do as many basic attacks as possible so uh that's the reason why i put this one on him to try and get him to do a little bit more basic attacks so the guild boss would bleed more more often um but uh okay so the gear i have soulbound arcana uh read him and weep i don't have anything really fancy on him uh bam 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 uh and then we have the annihilating might i mean you know Pretty basic uh he has decent stats his his attack speed is really low um i'm trying to work on getting that better but i just don't ever get any good soulbind arcana sets I, it really sucks i wish i wish i did i keep spamming gear raid 3 uh and they're not giving me anything and when i do get something it doesn't proc for anything like you know it's all in the blues so it's not ah, this game can be really frustrating sometimes but um his attack speed's really low for what i'm trying to do that's all another reason why i went with this artifact um because i do run a bleed team for my uh guild boss so uh i definitely want his attack speed to be higher but i, I don't know why i'm getting off track but that's how i have him built out let's see who else we got uh 
Next up, we got my girl Micah. I mean, this is my arrogance is set, so just read them and we create damage. I'm not going to dive too deep into this because I am going to do a guide on her hopefully tomorrow. Uh, but we got crit damage on that one, attack bonus on that one, attack bonus on that one. We did the whirlwind, boom, boom, uh, read them and weep. Uh, and then we come down here to our artifact. I actually did Reaper's Emblem. Um, and then let's see what else. Who do we got? Who do we got? Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I did use Yovar. I have Idril's Gaze on him. And then I have... Uh, have infernal roar set on him um which honestly soulbound arcana is way better i just don't have that many soulbound arcana sets uh i keep swapping them out when i do use yovar for something i'll put him in a soulbound arcana set but right now i just i, I honestly just have like three soulbound arcana sets that i just swap around to whoever needs it right um but for this run i had him in the infernal roar set um then did i use zilla too I, i'm not no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't use Zilla too. Uh, then we had Wrath. Um, Wrath, I actually had him in the Wisdom set. You know, trying to make him a little more wise. Uh, but bam, bam, and bam. Uh, and then we also have the Annihilating Might over here. Um, and these are his stats. These are his stats right here. Uh, and then the Artifact, I did Scarlet Hunt, which did absolutely nothing for him um but that's okay that's okay but yeah that basically covers everybody i hope you guys uh got something out of this video and i hope to help somebody out there but that's all i got for tonight's video you guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end